You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Now it's time to peel away the layers and get real. When does makeup become fraud? Yeah, that's the question I was asking recently. I recently came across an article where a man is suing his wife for fraud after seeing her without makeup for the first time. This really got me thinking, can or should makeup be classified as fraud? On social media, I have male friends who regularly advocate that the best place to take a woman for the first date is swimming. Really? <laughs> I began to wonder if the husband had a case. No doubt the avalanche of makeup tutorials on social media has fueled this fear of fraud. The before and after shots are often so drastically different that the subjects really do look like two different women. So let's look at why women wear makeup, shall we? We do so to enhance our beauty, be more attractive, appear more put together and more polished. Is this deception? Hmm. To ascertain this, we need to look at what makeup is trying to accomplish. If makeup is being worn to attract others and not just for our personal pleasure, then wearing copious amounts of makeup may be considered deceitful. However, there is no law anywhere that says women must present themselves authentically to those they wish to attract. Maybe Laboris might be able to elaborate on that. If one is looking for a one night stand or something very temporary, then I guess there are massive benefits to be had from faking it. But if one is looking for something more substantial based on mutual honesty and trust, then maybe there can be such a thing as too much makeup. For all intents and purposes, the ob object of attraction is getting a Photoshop version and the wearer is now operating under a mask, literally. However, <laughs> I believe the onus is on both parties to get to know each other better. Peel back the layers, so to speak, before committing to marriage. If that means going on a swimming date, then so be it. What say you, my fellow panelists? Is all fair in love and war? <laughs>